can we build a house in Cleveland in our climate that doesn't need a furnace? That a house where you can walk around barefoot in the middle of winter, where there's no drafts, no cold spots, uh, and it's a wonderful, comfortable place uh, to live in, even though it doesn't have a furnace and you have practically no energy bills. The biggest thing that's different about a passive house is that it's very, very energy efficient. Um, that's, the, that's the part about passive house that really distinguishes it from any other type of building is it's all about energy efficiency. Passive houses, because they are so energy efficient, they're also extremely durable. You don't have any condensation issues in passive houses. You don't have drafts. You can stand next to a, a big picture window on a cold winter day and not feel cold. The surface temperature of the windows won't be much different from any of the other surfaces in the room. It won't be cold like it is in a typical house. So these houses are very comfortable. You don't have stratification where you have warm air at the top of the room near the ceiling and cold air down at your feet. Um, these houses are very quiet and very comfortable. It really is, is simply a thermal and air barrier skin built around an open structural shell inside. Um, adding to that, we have some very sophisticated uh, ventilation uh, type equipment and heat recovery type equipment to put in. Um, that works at a very low level of uh, energy use and does all we need to provide the little bit of healing, heating, cooling, and ventilation that is necessary inside that envelope that we create. There's, an, there's probably three key aspects of passive house that distinguish it from more typical housing. One is super insulation. There are very, very high levels of insulation in passive houses. The second aspect is they are very airtight. You have very little air leakage in a, in a passive house. And the third is passive houses use ultra high performance windows. And so the combination of those three things are what get the energy use so low in a passive house for heating and cooling. This house is really a traditional looking house, largely due to the fact that we're going to be placing it in an existing neighborhood that has uh, pretty much traditional homes built in the 1920s. Uh, and that neighborhood is the context that we want to respect. So you'll see a lot of the materials on this house are going to be similar to the adjacent houses. The roof lines are going to be similar to, similar to that. The differences are going to be that the windows uh, facing to the south, which is the street face, are slightly larger than the adjacents, but we have positioned them and proportioned them in a way that I think it is very complementary. So this house, other than the fact that if you were to do a cutaway section and understand that the walls are 18 inches thick, inside it's going to look very conventional and exciting. Outside it looks very conventional and fits the neighborhood. The biggest thing is going to be that the house will be a more affordable house to actually own uh, over time because you're going to see that um, it's going to operate at approximately 10% of the amount of energy that is used in a similar house built of the same size. Uh, that means that money that was intended to be spent on utilities and energy use can now be spent on buying a better home. So from the home itself and how it's constructed to the furnishings, to the, the paints, um, to uh, the uh, appliances, to the, the lighting, all aspects of the house will be the state of the art, you know, green and sustainable uh, materials and, and equipment um, so people can come and learn about what they can do in their own homes. This exhibit house will be built right next to the Museum of Natural History. It'll be a new presence on Wade Oval and it'll be here for the summer and we will uh, provide tours of the house and lots of information uh, about the latest uh, in designs for residential construction. Um, and then we'll move it uh, sometime in September to a permanent site uh, that, we, that we're acquiring uh, just a few blocks away on Wade Park Avenue in Cleveland. And then the house will be uh, sold and it'll become uh, the house of a family um, of a Cleveland resident. We're hoping that this experience will um, do two things. One, uh, bring some of the best uh, ideas for how you do uh, uh, construction methods that have super energy efficiency and insulation. 
Uh, we'll also be bringing some of the best window and door design uh, to Cleveland so people can look at it and learn from it. We're also uh, going to build this with a panelized construction method. So the panels will arrive and the whole shell of the house will be built in a couple of days. Um, so it's a new kind of, of, of factory built panelized construction method um, that's also relatively new to the Cleveland market. Um, and so we hope that in the future there can be factories in Cleveland uh, building homes very efficiently, very economically in a factory setting where um, you can reduce waste, where you can, you're building things indoors out of the weather. There's a, a, an assembly line, very efficient construction method um, where we can be building these homes to, that can be not only very, very energy efficient but also affordable and also create a new industry and create jobs here in the Cleveland area.